Hello and welcome to this DCS World Mission Editor tutorial. Today we are looking at the AAA units and how to set them up for both sides. We will start by placing ground units and going to make sure the air defense category is selected. Will be the Combined Joint Task Force Blue. So subcategory, you can select AAA here and then you will only see the AAA elements, which is much more helpful. I do like the new Mission Editor layout. So we have a lot of options in here. Most of these are World War II flak from the asset pack and the recent update. So we'll start oddly with this SP. This thing is like a search radar for the flak. It basically computes the firing solution and makes it more accurate. We'll start by placing the SP, which is the search radar. We'll make that number one in the group. We'll then add another unit, change it to whichever flak we wanted. In this case, 36. We'll add a couple more of them. And then we can just move these to wherever we want to move them. Uh, if you've placed down your units and you want to move the first unit, just hold left control, click and drag, and you can move that one rather than moving the whole group. Very helpful. So these are all part of the same group. So they will now work with that search radar. It will compute the firing solution. They will fire on it. You also have advanced waypoint actions if you want to make these slightly more effective. So we'll click add. We will go to set option. You can set their alarm state, which basically means how ready they are. Engage air weapons. If it can, it will shoot down any air weapons like missiles coming at it. It's mostly for things like a tour. We have interception range, which lets you decide at what range you want it to start firing. We have other AAA options, of course, as well, that are slightly more modern, like the ZU-23. We have the closed in placement, which is just a stationary thing on the ground like this. It's got its defensive wall around it. We have the emplacement, which is just the gun on its own. We have one with insurgents. If you want them to look different, they work exactly the same. At the bottom, we have the searchlight, which also works with the AAA at night to help them shoot stuff down. Okay, so these ones are not listed under the AAA because they are self-propelled AAA. But we also have the Gepard, which is a very nasty gun, 30 millimeters. Don't want to get hit by one of those. We've got the Vulcan. We have the Shilka, which is radar-guided AAA, very nasty. The G57 high caliber AAA, then the insurgent versions. All of these have their own radar. They work just as a single unit. So they're very mobile and very useful for placing in hard to get to areas. If you found this useful, please like it. If you want to see more, subscribe and check out this playlist of the other DCS Mission Editor tutorial videos.